Hello everyone, welcome to the part number four of this Myson uh, 5. So what we're going to do for this one, it's about creating uh, inside the comment screen, uh, the finally add a comment input. So right now when we click add a comment, uh, we get there and we cannot add any comment. So uh, first thing we want to do also is we want to hide this um, tab bar. So we're going to start with that. So what we're going to do it's we're gonna uh, jump finally on the on the screen where we finally we push uh, this thing inside the comment input. So if you type comment input uh, the component right there here when we click on uh, this that props that navigator that push what we can add is something called a uh, navigator style. Oops, and we're gonna say tab bar hidden like that. Okay. And now by doing this, if I refresh my screen and I click here, you see I add this thing. But remember now, this view all command from here, uh, it's not the same. So we need to do this also. So now we're going to save that. Go inside the, uh, the, the photo card. So if you search for photo card, this is the same thing we're going to do right there. Okay. So now if I go to a screen where I have example some command, I click here, add a command, I have nothing here. And now if I click here, uh, view all command, we get that. Now here I see an error. We say finally it's a 400. So it looks like, um, like uh, we missed some value. So it looks like the thing is this coming from this that props that data that ID. So here we're going to add that data. So now we're going to try again. I'm going to scroll down and click on view all 13 command and now we get it. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back on the command screen and this is what we're going to design that. We're going to click also command D to enable out reloading. So it's going to be easier for us to work with. Scroll down if you want or scroll. You can do whatever screen you want. And this is where we're going to finally design uh, this stuff here. First thing we're going to add is the fragment from React because I don't want to put a view here. So fragment finally, uh, it's almost like a fake view. So it don't give you the design of a basic view. So example, in the React web, if you use fragment, you don't gonna need to put a div. So you don't gonna get a div uh, uh, inside your HTML. So it's pretty nice because we don't want to get this amount of thing. Here after that, I'm gonna create a variable called input height. So that's gonna be the height of the input I'm gonna have. And you're gonna see why I create a variable in a moment. So I see this input i gonna have a, um, a value of 60 and I'm gonna need to import uh, four other, uh, three other thing here. I'm gonna need to import a text input because we want the input. We're gonna need to have the image because we're gonna have your uh, avatar face right there. And we're gonna also have the keyboard avoiding view right there. So uh, when we click, we want the input to uh, go uh, with the keyboard finally. So now here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a view below the flat list. And this view, what we're going to do, it's we're going to call this one style that input section. Okay. So the, this input section going to have the height of the uh, input height. Going to have a background color because we want to see it right now of red. And also uh, we're going to put it a uh, position absolute. And uh, bottom zero, left zero, and right zero. And I think right is like uh, right. Sorry about my. Uh, <laughs> I need to check my English sometimes. Oh, I mean, we're gonna surely have an error, yeah. So right, it's not. Uh, I just need to check right. R e Thing is like that. Okay. Sorry about that. So now if I click here, I get uh, this thing right there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, it's inside this view. I'm going to have uh, my image with the source. I'm going to put my fake avatar I have inside my uh, util constant folder right there. So remember the fake avatar just for now. So fake avatar. So here we can put the source URI fake avatar and now we're going to have a style of avatar. And for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to need to import the value from the util T 
theme and that's gonna be make a circle and we're gonna here make a circle finally and we're gonna say 40 so if I click we see the face right there okay after that this input section it's gonna be really important to have a flex direction of row because next to it next to the image we're gonna have a view here and inside this one we're gonna have a text input okay placeholder we're gonna add a command with three dot like that so now this is where we are now i'm gonna create here my input wrapper for this command and remember all our work i put some really really uh, big color so at least we see where we are so now this input wrapper we're gonna want it to have a width of 85 percent of the is parent also we're gonna want it to have the height of 70 percent of his parent like that after that here inside the input section we're gonna need to put um justify contain space between because we want to push them we don't want them to be uh, next to each other after that we want to have the align item center so now they're gonna become at the center right there and also we don't want them to touch each side so we can put a padding horizontal and we're gonna put a 16 so now they came much together and as you can see because we use the width it get 85 percent of his parent minus the 16 so finally uh, the parent get the minus 16 so after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an input here and the only thing we're gonna do with the input is we're gonna put a flex one by doing this the input now gonna take the full space okay and now you see when i put the keyboard we don't get it but don't worry about that you can click command key command k or control k i think and we don't gonna see the input uh, the, the keyboard anymore and now also we want this thing so i'm gonna just remove the red we want this thing to be um, to have some border radius okay so the input wrapper here we want him to have a border radius of 25 uh, 25 we want the border width to be really really small so what we can use for that is tie sheet that airline width it's really really small if you don't know what is that you just put your mouse here and this is for defined as the width of thin line of the platform so finally the thinner line of the platform and for the border color we can import the from the team the color and that's gonna be the color that light gray we have and now we can remove the yellow but now you see the text touch the side but this is not what we want so we're gonna add the same padding horizontal right there and now boom now i don't touch it after that we want to have like a little line right there at the top so what we can do is we can have the same border width but that's going to be border top width so if i do this we get a border top but we want a border color for this one and that's going to be the same one here okay so now we have that but now i want my keyboard to follow this thing okay so when i click here right now i, I mean it, this is not what we want so with keyboard avoiding view what are we gonna do it's we're gonna put that right keyboard avoiding view we're gonna wrap the input section with this okay so right now if i do this and i click nothing happened I need first thing to put a behavior and behavior we have access to hide position and padding so i'm going to click behavior and i'm going to put padding now if i click nothing happen again and why it's because we're going to put a style here we're going to call this one avoiding view so avoiding view and now this avoiding view right there below gonna have this position absolute right there and because this one is the parent of the input now when i click you see we see him uh, move a, a, a bit okay and now for getting that because right now the thing about this is right there almost so what we can do is just putting a keyboard at vertical offset and putting the height of the input now if i click and i click now you see he came with us so now if we go example of the, the the last screen where we have the text and i click 
you see now this is where we want so here you you can scroll but now this thing glue the keyboard okay so first thing is done here yeah. but now i would like when i click here at a command this thing to open maybe you're gonna say oh yeah just put that autofocus right there it's not the best idea right there so if i refresh and i click on add a command look at what it's gonna happen you see this flick the thing is this auto the thing happened is the component in mouth because autofocus happened on the component in mouth it's before the screen appear and because of this we get this flick so now one of the question maybe it's okay so how can we do this so we're gonna need to use ref okay i don't like to use ref but sometimes we don't have a choice and we're gonna see this input equal ref for those who don't uh, who say why I don't use create ref from react it's because uh, we don't use a uh, 16 we use 16.2 and this is 16.3 we have it okay so now we have here this ref what i'm gonna do it's inside a component in mount i'm gonna console log the input okay now i have my debugger i'm gonna refresh my screen and i'm gonna just i think do a stop visible at reload and i'm gonna say uh, enable live reload so live reload is gonna be when I, I save so now if i click here the input is undefined because it's too quick okay uh, because we don't get the ref yet so what we can do is we can put that inside a set timeout and we're gonna say just one second okay and now we're gonna do something like that and now by clicking here now i get my ref and now inside my ref has all the function this input can have and one of them it's focus so now if you just put right there this dot input dot focus like that and i save and i click now look what's gonna happen i'm gonna click and he open after one second so now you see at least he open so now you can maybe go down a bit so 500 so now if you click now we get that again so i think one second gonna be good enough i know this is kind of a keyword but at least right now it's gonna work for us another thing okay it's right now the keyboard say return so we want to change that i mean it don't make any sense so we're gonna say return uh, key type and we're gonna say send so send is gonna look like like you send this command so now if i click that and i and let him open now we have the send so what now what i want is when i click send i want to be able to send a command but for that i'm gonna need to have the keep track of what the command value so what we can do is just create inside the state command here put the value gonna be equal to the command and now remember what i teach on other uh, lesson it's if you do this you're gonna control it but you're gonna need to have an unchanged because right now if i type nothing happened because this thing equal the state and the state equal an empty string so what you need is to have the unchanged text don't unchange unchanged text when we use uh, react native so the end of change right there gonna add here the command and finally we can uh, this that set state the comment like that now if i save and i rerun this thing and now i start to type we have it and just for showing you that work we're gonna add an alert okay and we're gonna create a function here called unsubmit and this unsubmit gonna call the alert and we're gonna say your command is and now we can put the command right there also after we submit we want to uh, put back the comment as an empty string because maybe you want to add another comment and what we can do this is we want this when you click send so we have access to this by clicking on on submitting editing and we're gonna have the on submit right there so now if i click on add a comment i let him open i say hello world and now i click send your comment is hello world that's it this is what we want and as you can see also we can click outside and that close the keyboard and this is really what we want to so if we go there we have the list so i click here and now if i click outside so you get down perfect so my thing will be this for this video 
So here we have learned about how to finally um, uh, passing a props to the um, uh, React Native Navigator uh, navigation, where we can finally add hide the tab bar. Also, we have learned how to uh, get an input who glue to the keyboard. We learn also how to use the ref and how to use this ref to uh, finally uh, focus um, uh, this uh, uh, this keyboard. And one thing, it's maybe you ask, okay, but why this uh, focus take this second? It's just because right now it's kind of accurate because we are inside the query component, okay? So one of the things we can do in the last in the next one, if you want also, is just to get this um, keyboard right there outside of, of him. So I mean, we can, I'm pretty sure we can do this right now. So I can just do a fragment. And you put the fragment there below. You take this keyboard stuff. You get out of the fragment right there. And now you can put this right below, right there. Okay. So now, if I think that's gonna work, that's gonna still work the same way. But now you can remove the 1,000 and use 500. So that means no, don't, <laughs> don't. But why it's better? It's because, like right now, this query, okay, right there. Uh, the way we was handled that it's we was after is loading so example if you back end take more than two second example you don't gonna see the keyboard came out why it's because this flat list right there don't gonna be show like all this part don't gonna be show so i think it's better to put it below here so i hope you've learned something new and i've learned something new with that here so yeah so have a good night and we talk in the next one bye